What's up everybody? Welcome back to Inside Home Built Workshop. I hope today finds everybody doing well. The weather seems like here anyway, it's starting to get nice. I see a little bit of green popping out. Spring is close. I'm not quite sure we're out of the woods yet for snow here in Colorado. You never know. I've seen it up to Memorial Day or even later. Is it Memorial Day or Labor Day? I always get those two mixed up. Whichever one we're coming up on in, what, another month, end of the month, or maybe it's next month, I don't know. It's getting close. I'm really liking it. I'm looking forward to spring and summertime and the weather getting nice. It's just cool enough right now where i got to wear a hat. i got short sleeves on. It's warm enough for that, but my head still gets cold. Could be, could have something to do with the lack of hair. I'm not really sure. But. <laughs> so I'm a little bit disappointed. I was not able to get a video published this weekend like I had hoped. I actually have two projects that I've wrapped up and I need to do the editing on, but my computer died. Ugh. I think the motherboard burnt out. I've got another computer in the house that I switched the hard drives over. I thought I'd better just install those hard drives, get everything powered up, and be back in business. Yeah, it didn't go as planned. It didn't really work out like that for some reason. I had a lot of problems with drivers and stuff. Even though I, I didn't do any in, fresh install on the operating system or anything, I just installed my storage drives in this computer, but man, apparently it jacked everything up and the computer was down for several days. I think I've got it working where it is reliable. It would power up and load everything properly and then it would freeze and I'd reboot it. It would lose the hard drive. It's just, it was a pain in the neck. So this video will be the first one that I will edit in its entirety since I had to replace or change out my computer. I'll probably end up building a new one at some point. Right now my goal is just to get the one that we have working so that I can keep working on videos and projects and stuff like that. If any of you have ever built your own computer, you know all the things involved. We having the right drivers and the right parts and everything's got to work together. And uh, if one thing is not correct, it just seems like it throws everything off. Now I'm not a computer expert by any means, but I have built several computers, not tons and tons of them, but maybe three or four or something like that. And I really like doing it. I like being able to choose all your components and everything that goes into it. But there is that headache of making sure you have the correct drivers and everything works together. So probably here shortly, I'll probably end up just replacing the motherboard and basically all the components that my computer is several years old now. Um, so I'll probably have to replace processors and, and RAM and all that stuff, which is kind of cool because it gives me a chance to upgrade as the cost of things go down, it seems like you can get uh, higher specs for less money. Unless you go with, you know, the, the very cutting edge, that stuff that just came out. But I don't know, we'll see. I've got some ideas that I might want to do for that. Uh, but right now, again, my goal is to just get it up so I can edit some video. While I was working on the computer, there was many times that I'd have to wait for an update to install or the thing would freeze and I'd have to wait for it to, to catch up with itself or whatever it is. But So I did get some time to work on some cigar box guitars. I actually have one, two, three cigar box guitar necks all fitting and ready for the next step. I'm trying to do these things all together. Like if I'm if I'm fitting the neck on one, I want to fit the neck on all three. If I'm cutting the slots in the box on one, I want to do that on all three. I'm trying to batch these together. And one thing that I'm finding is from one to the next, I'm able to change my technique and it helps me to kind of fine tune on the best way to do that. Now probably next, I'm probably gonna start working on the fretboard. I gotta level sand the necks. This one I can feel a little wave in it. Not not big, but just a little a little indentation. So I'll just take a pencil and I'll mark on there and I'll sand that with my sanding beam until it's nice and flat. And then I will probably move on to the fretboard, getting that slotted and uh, glued in place. 
I did pick up for the fret slotting, I did pick up a, a, a fret ruler, which has the exact locations of where the frets need to go. Now this is kind of interesting. If you saw the Cigar Box guitar build, I'll put a link in the description if you have not, I just lined up that neck with an existing guitar neck that I have and I drew lines to locate the frets. I held this up to that Cigar Box guitar neck and I can, act, I can see where there's several frets that are off. Even though I felt like I was being very careful and trying to be super accurate with my lines, they don't all line up with this. Now, one thing that's cool is your 12th fret is exactly one octave from your open string. And my 12th fret is right on to where it should be. So my octaves are correct, which allows me to be able to intonate that thing pretty darn close. So I feel pretty good about that, but definitely this will make a big difference when I lay out the uh, fretboards for these guitars. I am working on somewhat of a video for these three cigar box guitars. I'm not really going to do like a whole build or anything like that because I did do one of those already recently, but I am going to kind of lump them all together as kind of an overview of the whole process. I'm not going to go really in detail, uh, just kind of a, a, like I said, an overview of everything. So I do plan on doing that. I've been shooting some footage and uh, we'll see how that turns out. I'll get everything done and I'll start putting that together. So if there's something you kind of want to see along the way, uh, or if you have any questions that I might be able to answer in that video, go ahead and leave a comment down below in the description. If there's just something you're curious about or, or something you want to see me do a, a little bit more in detail that maybe I didn't cover in the first Cigar Box guitar video or either of the Barncaster guitar builds. So just be sure, let me know, leave a comment if there's something you want to see. Otherwise, I just plan on doing uh, an overview of these three together. Another thing I want to talk about really quick, I picked up one of these Shinto saw rasps in anticipation of doing the carving on these necks. This thing's pretty cool. I did a couple of tests just, just to see how it works and also I've used it for a little bit of filing uh, here and there, right, removing some material for these cigar box guitars. I'm really looking forward to getting into it. The thing seems like it, it removes material really fast and it doesn't appear like it can get away from you so bad, uh, maybe like a file or a really coarse rasp. I don't know, we'll, we'll find out. Um, Shinto. I don't know, they're, they're fairly inexpensive. It seems like it's gonna work pretty well. I know there's a lot of other people that build guitars and do that sort of work that do like these as well. So. I picked one up on a recommendation and in the little bit that I've used it already, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm looking forward to getting into actually carving these necks and we'll see how it really works. So, kind of cool. So I think I'm going to wrap this episode up here. Not a whole lot going on. Um, I do need to get in and start working on some editing so that I can get some projects posted. Again, I apologize if you're waiting on a video. I was unable to get the thing edited. I just didn't have a PC. I'm hoping now it's good. I'm going to get in there and get this editing done. So be on the lookout. I got two projects that I got to go in and edit the video for. So if you don't want to miss those, head on over to Home Built Workshop, my channel, my regular channel. I'll put a link in the description and make sure you click subscribe if you're not already. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget you can follow me on social media too. I'll put those links down below in the description as well. Also, head on over to homebuiltworkshop.com. If you haven't had a chance to go over there and submit your favorite local resource, lumber mill, sawmill, uh, tool shop, some sort of your favorite local supply place, please head over there, homebuiltworkshop.com. Click on local resources. You can scroll down and submit your favorite uh, uh, supplier or your favorite local place. It's got to be local. I'm trying to build that database for local resources for all of us as makers. So thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. Uh -huh.